guys it is saturday night and i thought i would do not so much a stitch with me because i don't really have much to say today it's kind of been a day it's kind of been a week yada 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 um but i thought maybe i would do like a time lapse with uh with some nice soothing music let's start the week off with some soothing music and that way I can watch Ghost Adventures and not get sued. So I will start my stitching and start the music and I hope you enjoy and I'll talk to you soon.
guys, I think I'm going to shut the recording off. We're at just about an hour. And um, I'll stitch probably the rest of the night and let you know how far I get. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye. Oh, boy. I can't do anything more tonight. I made some good headway. I um, finished the swirlies on the left-handed gate and got some of the ground done under this kitty. I just can't see straight anymore. But I have a feeling I'm going to be working on this again tomorrow. It's, uh, I think I'm in the home stretch. I think I have to keep doing this till it's done. Oh my god, my hands hurt. All right, I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to get comfy. I'll be back at this tomorrow. Talk to you later, guys. Guess who's keeping me company this lovely Sunday morning? I got up. It was nice and cool. This is a perfect day to binge watch somebody that I have fallen tragically behind on. Kyle, it's you and me this morning, hon. I got coffee. I don't have any food. Sorry about that. Bring some bagels. We'll see how much of this I can get knocked out today. Check in later, guys. Oh my god, I'm so close. Um, I got that whole bottom done today. Most of the right-hand column. I think once that column's done, the only thing left is the back stitch. Everything, all the cross-stitching is done. That's insane. What am I going to do with myself? Let's start something else. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night, guys. You know it's going to be a good day when Kay's here to keep me company in the morning. Yay! Oh, I sounded like the stash queen. Hey, guys. It is Tuesday night. And I did a little work on the right-hand pillar, but not very much. It was dinner at Dad's. We had a nice dinner. We had some wine. I'm going to go to sleep now. I am a sleepy bunny. But I will probably talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night, guys. Hey, guys. It is Thursday night. And no, I'm not done with this yet. <sighs> I did a little more tonight on the right-hand pillar. But that's about it. I haven't been filming the little intros anymore. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, because usually I get down there, I get all set up, I get ready, Mark sits down next to me, and then I don't want to film anything. So I'm doing it now. Hopefully tomorrow I can finish the pillar and maybe get some of the back stitching done. It's definitely not getting done in the next couple of days, but hey, we'll see how far I get. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night, guys. Hey, guys. It's me, back again. Um, not a little lot to, well, it's probably several things to get into this week, but not a lot of stitching. It was not a big stitching week. Um, actually, I'm hoping to get a few hours in before I go out tonight. And then maybe when I get home tonight, after I've had a couple of glasses of wine, we'll see if we can do another one of those sit there and listen to me babble sort of things. And if it all goes wrong, we'll just set it to music. We'll try that. There are a couple of things that I want to talk about today. Um, first, the postcards that um, I've been sending out. Thank you so much to everybody who has sent me your address. I do have an address from somebody named Lisa but I don't know what your YouTube name is, so I don't know who to check off on my list. So I do have five outstanding. I'm assuming you're one of them. But the people I have outstanding are Telena Christie, Bat Stitch Crazy, Link is My Homeboy, JFast2, and Patience Price. So Lisa, if you're any of those people, let me know who you are. And for the rest of you, if you still want your postcard, no hurry. Just feel free to send me your um, address, either email or Instagram message. I'm getting so much better at Instagram messages. 
Of course, I say that, and I can see I already have one that's unread. Which actually leads me to the second thing that I wanted to talk about today, which is a lot less fun. Um, I'm not going to name a name, but there's a person in this community who has suffered an unbelievable loss. A loss that I can't even... I can't even begin to try to understand. The loss of a child is staggering. The loss of a child to suicide... I... I, I don't even have words for that. I don't have words. She's in my heart. She's in my thoughts. Um, look around you. We've talked about this before. There are people who need help. And the services just are not there for them. Th this particular person was a, a, a veteran and needed help. And, and there just wasn't enough of it. There's just not enough of it. Look around you and see who needs help the most and just do what you can. Be loud about it. Be obnoxious about it. If there aren't services in your area, write to the people who make those decisions and sit in their lobbies and throw things at them. Don't throw things at people. Go ahead and throw things at people. If it gets some people some mental health care, Throw some damn things. I think it's worth it. Is it worth an assault charge? Yes. Yes, it is. We can't keep failing each other. We have to take better care of each other. And we're a community. We should act like it. So that's my sad rant for today. Then I have an angry rant because... And I'm not, I can't say I'm not picking sides, because obviously I'm picking sides. But there is another member of this community who has done wrong. Or at the very least, has done everything possible in her power to make it look like she has done something terribly wrong. There are ways to defend yourself on the internet. It is the Wild West out here. People, rumors fly. Information is sketchy third, fourth hand information, things like that. But there are ways to clearly defend yourself. And when you don't take what seem like very reasonable steps to explain a situation or find a way to deal with it effectively, it, it just makes everything look sketchy. So I guess the biggest thing I can recommend to people is if you are going to send somebody money for a service or to hold your place in a, a retreat or something like that, if you can, use a credit card. Credit cards will always give you the most amount of protection. They require, they generally do not require a lot of information from you to contest um, a charge. If something goes wrong, it's their job to protect you. Merchants pay fees to credit card companies to kind of ensure that those safeguards are in place because if it's not safe to use your credit card, nobody's going to use them. Credit card companies will go out of business. Nobody wants that. Well, some people want that, but. Second of all, if you are going to pay somebody through PayPal, if you're sending somebody, hey, you bought lunch, I'm going to send you $15 through PayPal, do that as friends and family. That's what that's for. If you are entering into some sort of business contract with somebody, if you are reserving a spot for a retreat, if you are purchasing things from them, get an invoice and pay as, as a business transaction. Because if you send somebody hundreds of dollars as a friend and you call PayPal and say they're not my friend anymore, they're not going to protect you nearly as much. 
I don't even think they protect you at all. I think it has to go through some kind of, um, it has to be the right kind of transaction for you to challenge it and for you to contest it and say, I didn't receive my products or they canceled things out from under me. It's not a perfect system. It's not a guarantee. There aren't any guarantees in life. I'm sorry, my clothes are falling off. Um, but that's the best way you can try to protect yourself out here in the Wild West. Here's something I want to put out there. I am not nearly organized enough. I am not organized enough to put pants on most days. I cannot organize a retreat. I want to go on a retreat, people. I want to go to a retreat. I am not great with traveling. I don't have a lot of, you know, resources to hop on a plane. I need one in Massachusetts. I need one in Massachusetts. Maybe Rhode Island. Rhode Island could happen. I could get to Rhode Island. I need me a retreat. I need me an LNS. I need me a drink. No, no, just the retreat and the LNS. Maybe some chocolate. All right, guys, I think that's it for me this week. As always, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for commenting and watching and all your messages. I really do appreciate them. I'll talk to you soon.